What's going on guys, it's your boy Midas and today I'm gonna show you guys how to make this simple frame pack you see on the screen right now. So you can use these frame packs to promote whatever videos you got, your music videos, your fitness videos, you know, whatever it is, man. You can use these videos to, these kinds of frame packs to, you know, separate yourself and then improve your videos, you know, make them look better or, you know, promote them better on your social media platforms, especially Instagram. So I would have a link to download this frame pack for free, which I will be showing you guys how to create, modify and edit. Basically create and edit this frame pack in this video so you know what let's not waste any more time let me show you guys what I'm talking about there's also gonna be some stylistic ones that you can grab you can purchase you know on my store or at my store more sophisticated packs that I've taken my time to create for you guys you know what let's get this party started y'all let's do this <laughs> Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open up our Photoshop application. The next thing you're gonna do is create a new project. What you wanna do is you wanna make sure you, your width is 1200 and your height is 1500 pixels. So that's basically the size or the dimensions of any IG post or a standard vertical IG post. What you wanna do is you can name it whatever you want. I would just name mine feed frame or whatever. You can name it whatever you want, absolutely anything. And then you wanna make sure that your background content is set on black. Okay, now we've got our feed frame set on black. Next thing you wanna do is create. You have your feed frame, which is your, this is basically your background layer. Now we've got our black background layer. So what we're gonna to wanna to do next is create a new layer. You can see right there. And you wanna make sure your back, your foreground color is set to black as you can see right there i have got mine set to black Let's click on this and set it to black and then go ahead and click edit and then fill the layer with the foreground color as you can see right now it's now filled with the black you know layer but what you want to do now is turn off this layer your background layer and then now we're going to cut out the rectangle where we want our video showing so you're going to grab your rectangular marquee tool and just cut out something just cut out what you want so i'm just going to cut out this much right there and then once you have this cut out then you just delete it you basically hit the delete button and it's gone and then you can you can hit command or control d to deselect that layer now you have your little video section cut out that's cool and next thing you want to do is uh add text to this layer that's the last and final part of this is add text to this so you can go ahead and click uh t or the text tool and go ahead and look for a font that you like you know you can look for something bold i would i usually look for something bold and strong to use for my most of my because it's basically a title is what you're adding to that you can see right there there's the grow bold you go over here and just type in title or whatever you want a title to whatever video you're, you're you know you're trying to use with this and you can see my title is gone because it's black so you just you know highlight it if yours is not showing as well and change it to a brighter color just so you can edit it so white is what i'm going with and you can see right now i've got my text over there so what you want to do is hit alt hold it down and then just pull pull one of the corners one of the edges of the title the title text and just adjust it to whatever size you want i'm just going to place it at the top corner there and i'm going to duplicate this title layer right there so you right click on this layer and then duplicate and then I'm gonna call this one subtitle okay so we've got our subtitle layer and text over here so I'm just gonna name this subtitle as well because you have to change the name on both ends you can call these whatever you want to be honest with you you can use whatever font these things are highly customizable which is really awesome so you want to you know just resize this as well because I usually don't like my subtitles looking too large so I usually will just resize this and all you got to do is click uh, and hold alt option again and just resize right there so I'm just gonna place this right in this corner and that's basically it that's your frame pack so with this frame you can basically add things to it you know put a YouTube logo on it put a bunch of things on it so much you can do with it so you can grab a copy of this frame from the link in the description uh, it's gonna be free so you can you guys can go ahead and you know mess around with this next thing you want to do is hit file and then save this you want to make sure you save this before you, you know tamper with it you can save it as whatever you want I'm just gonna save mine as feed frame DD whatever and then you know have it as a Photoshop make sure it's a Photoshop type and then save this wherever you want it so I'm gonna save this to my desktop and just save it right there and now that's your file in order to edit this file right now you know place your picture on this make this more stylistic okay so you go over to file and then you go open and now you can open up you know a picture and just place it in there so I'm gonna go ahead and grab one of my pictures from here and just use it a random picture doesn't matter what it is you, you can go ahead and grab whatever kind of picture you want
want and use it you can grab one that's going to fit perfectly with the you know design that that's there so i've got this in here but you notice i cannot move this in order to move this you got to make sure you have your transform tool selected so control t or command t on mac and just resize this so move it around and then hold down alt option and just resize this so resize it and then place it over the layer so you want to make sure it's over the entire project grab this layer and place it above uh basically the layer that we cut you know we cut out of so the one main layer this is i call this the picture background layer because it, it basically is what you want your picture to attach to. So the final step is to right click on the picture and create clip and mask. And now you can see that it's attached to it. So you can move this picture around all you want and it's just gonna be behind the entire thing. So now you have a background with your little you know, frame. You can then export this, but you wanna export this as a PNG. So you can just quick export it or export as, as a PNG right there. And you can just go export all. And then this goes directly to your desktop or wherever you want it to, to be saved at. So you just hit save and it's gone out the computer what I usually do to keep the integrity or to not, you know, to keep using this over and over again is I just delete the picture right here, delete that layer, and then I save my frame to, to the same file I, I, you know, I first saved it to, which was the first one I created. Just control S and it saves it and then you can just close this up and, you know, you end your business with Photoshop and then open up your video editing software. So Premiere Pro, Final Cut Pro X, whatever it is, DaVinci Resolve, doesn't matter what video editing software you use, these things will work with them. Even iMovie, you know, it doesn't matter. So you want to go to file and then click on new. So you basically start a new project. Then you click OK and create your project. And next thing you want to do is you want to grab your frame and grab it and pull it in first. You want to pull your frame into your project first. That's the first thing you got to grab and pull in there. And this only works with Adobe Premiere. So for example, with Final Cut, you can just, you know, set the dimensions from the start. You want to set a 1200 by 15 on 1500 dimension, you know, video to start with. That way this attaches to it perfectly but with um, Adobe Premiere once you pull this in it adapts it automatically so the next thing you want to do is grab your video and place it right underneath this so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a random video that I can find somewhere on my computer and place it right here okay so I'm just gonna grab this video right here and just place it in here so just grab and pull you basically want to make sure your feed frame is above your video layer so you can then drag this as, for as long as you want I would usually just you know use this for like short videos okay so once you have this pull Pulled across to however long you want this you know plan and the final thing you want to do is resize the video underneath as you can see it's too large what you want to do is click on a video layer and then go over to the effects control which is at least for Adobe Premiere reduce the scale or the size of it and just go you see that right now it's now small so you make sure it's not too small as well you want it to be a nice fit and then you can go ahead and also increase the height or you know decrease the height pull it till it's till it fits to you know your preference and then just leave it right there and as you can see right there it just plays it just plays it looks pretty cool it looks different it's not you know common so I'm gonna have this frame pack down below in the description so make sure to grab this if you want to you know bypass this I'm also gonna have a bunch of different you know stylistic ones a brush style or more you know sophisticated packs in and uh, you can that you can find in my store uh, and there should be a link in the description for that as well so I've taken my time in creating these packs I hope you guys enjoy it and um, if you're if you made it to this point of the video make sure to give the video a thumbs up and a like uh, subscribe if you're new to the channel if you're looking for a video on you know how to make time bars that you can use Use with your uh, Instagram videos, your YouTube videos, whatever social media videos you know you create. Make sure to check out uh, the video on the screen right now, and um, I will catch you guys in the next one. It's Midas, and I am out.